There was any reassuring news in the outbreak, it was the initial belief that younger people and children were less likely to be affected by the virus. But now new data is changing some of the advice surrounding that. Dr. Frank McGeorge is live with us uh, with a closer look at what scientists have now learned, Doc. CDC researchers looked at more than 2,400 cases of COVID-19 in the United States. They found up to a fifth of the patients who had to be hospitalized were those between ages 20 and 44. Between 2 and 4 percent had to be admitted to the ICU, but the fatality rate among that age group was still low. Now, Italy and France also report many young people in intensive care with the virus, with almost a quarter of Italy's coronavirus patients between the ages of 19 and 50. An important message to get out, with many young people in the U.S. still going about their everyday lives, even partying on spring break. Today, health officials called on Americans of all ages to heed the warning to stay home and limit contact with others. The absolute key to this, though, is every single American looking at the president guidelines and taking it seriously. The acts of selflessness that I am seeing are so impressive across the board. But if even 10 or 15 percent of the population decides that what they're doing today is more important than the health and welfare of the rest of the Americans, they can spread the virus in a very strong way because you know the level of contagion. Perhaps most disheartening is the news about children. Emerging evidence raises concern that babies and toddlers may also be at risk of serious complications. A study of more than 2,000 children in China found 11% of cases in infants and 7% of cases in toddlers and preschoolers were severe or even critical. Now, we don't know exactly how many of the younger people being seriously affected also have an underlying health problem, which would, of course, increase the risk. There was a study out of Italy that found a substantial number of the deaths were in those that had existing medical problems. Back to you. Hey, Doc, we appreciate it very much, and we'll be talking to you later on throughout this uh, next 90 minutes. Yep.